fact. The next smaller complaint I have is that Spencer's subplot involves him shaking what is a magic eight ball and then blindly following it to do stupid things. This particular version of the magic eight ball is a magic meatball. You know, like the one on Rocco's Modern Life. This isn't even any sort of shout out, they just literally stole that concept. But worse than that, it's just how stupid the plot is. You can get away with this kind of stupidity in a cartoon like Spongebob, but when you have a character this stupid that's a parental guardian over another character, I'm sorry, I just don't buy that. There's being weird and quirky, and then there's just stupidity. And it's not like it's used well either. It's just totally random. It makes Spencer eat ketchup and buy an ostrich because herdy der. Also, I find Fred's treehouse setup to be entirely ridiculous. Yeah, because Lucas totally needed a sweet editing setup to edit Fred. Also, if we're to believe this treehouse, apparently he storyboards out the Fred videos. It's about as believable as the chart he pulls up at the end of the episode on iCarly's view stats. I give this show some credit for occasionally getting things about being on the internet correct, but a lot of times they are way off on what it's actually like to make web content. But you know, they do get one thing disturbingly correct, which leads me to the big problem with this episode. The thing that makes this downright uncomfortable to sit through. Freddy says, live on iCarly, that he isn't a fan of Fred's videos. He doesn't bash Fred, he doesn't insult Lucas, he doesn't say anything aside from that he doesn't believe the videos are funny. And then Sam and Carly rag on him for it. But you know what? That's okay. That's what friends do. They rag on each other for not having the same opinion. It's just a little friendly teasing between friends. Whatever. You know what's not fine though? Fred making a video saying that he's quitting making videos specifically because of Freddy on iCarly. We find out later in the episode that this was all a part of Fred's magnificent scheme to get them more views. You know, by not including the iCarly gang in on the whole plot and blatantly lying to his audience to generate more views. 